What up, fellow peoples of the internet? I'm Kyle, and this is the Vervet Forest. Today's episode is all about the fresh little dumplings inside of Camelot Troop. Shout out to Jim and Linda, Janet Franciscovich, Chuck and Di, Fast Out, and Australia. So I'm currently standing on what's known as Camelot Rock. That's a George. This is a giant rock. Uh, it is aptly named Camelot Rock because right here is Camelot Troop. It's the biggest troop we have at the sanctuary. So Camelot Troop is right next to Coco Troop. Uh, it's the biggest troop on the property. It has the most monkeys on the property. Um, somewhere in like the 60s or 70s, I believe, for the number of monkeys in the troop. Um, Hi. And this year they've happened to have a few wild births. Um, so Camelot Troop is not a troop that ever gets foster babies because it's just, all right, your breathing is way too heavy. I can't sit next to you while I'm doing this, George. It's probably way too loud. <laughs> you, you're gonna yeah, be quiet at his breathing. Good boy. Camelot Troop is uh, one of the few troops at the foundation that doesn't actually receive uh, orphans because the troop's just too big. It's like impossible to monitor. Um, they're not set up for it. Uh, the intra cages aren't set up for orphans. The, uh, there's no feeding cages set up inside the troop. But really, it's, the problem is, is it's like one side of the troop is bordering the end of the property. So the, there's a dirt road, there's neighbors, all sorts of stuff. And then uh, the other side of the troop is on our property. And it's too dense in trees and stuff to ever really see. So especially when it's green out, it would just be impossible to monitor and keep an eye on the babies. Um, but the other reason that the troop doesn't receive orphans is that sometimes they have their own babies, um, which is not something that we promote here at the VMF. Obviously, I've talked about this in the past. All of the males are vasectomized. There's a video you can check out that links up in the corner right now. Uh, we intake monkeys, we rehabilitate them, we try to release them if possible. We give them the best care. If they can't be re-released, then we provide a sanctuary for them here so that they can live out the rest of their lives with a troop, with a family. Um, we're not a breeding facility so that we're able to still bring in more monkeys because if you're breeding monkeys you're just going to end up with an overpopulation problem and you're never going to be able to intake the ones that actually need the care and the support but because camelot troop is on the edge of the property and it's such a big troop and it's so hard to monitor what you find is that from time to time some of the females will give birth inside of the troop and this has nothing to do with the males inside of the troop. Rather, it has everything to do with roaming males coming from off property. Um, and because it's so big and because there's portions of the troop that are along the dirt road off of the property, it's easy for the males to have sex with the females through the fence. And obviously then the females have the chance or the opportunity, depending on how you're looking at it, to get pregnant. And uh, yeah. So a lot of the females in this troop will do their best to get babies since they are obviously not acquiring orphans each baby season. So this year we happened to have about five or six babies that were born into the troop and uh, I went around and I filmed some of them and so that's what we'll be looking at right now. Uh, obviously a situation where the monkeys are having live births in the troop is not the best situation for us. Um, Fortunately, it doesn't really happen in any other troops. Camelot just happens to be that outlier. Uh, it is the most wild of the troops. They are the most afraid of humans. Um, they have the biggest enclosure. They're, like I said, they're the hardest to monitor. So, you know, there's gonna be accidents. Nature is going to find a way, and Camelot troop is perfect proof of that. <laughs> 